What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can fix the screen resolution when we're viewing a computer screen uh, on our TV. Now if you're going 1080p via a HDMI cable you're going to get it where you can't see the start button properly and uh, you'll see it be off the screen and uh, it can be quite frustrating but I'm going to show you you can fix this whether you've got um, an ATI or an NVIDIA graphics card on your computer. You can see here it's completely off the screen and I'll show you how to quickly fix that. It's pretty straightforward. So what we want to do here is we want to take a look at the screen resolutions and you'll see that it's set to 1920 by 1080. Now if I look at the uh, screen resolution here, you can see it says Panasonic TV and uh, sorry about the blurriness there, but you can see it's 1920 by 1080 and uh, that is the recommended setting it won't go no higher there and the reason why that is because you're going through a computer even if you click on advanced here you can see the AMD uh, control center that's where you want to get to okay now yours will be um, whether it will be an Nvidia or ATI you need to uh, fix these settings by using over uh, scale so we're going to go to the AMD uh, control center here on on our uh, machine now yours may look slightly different to this but don't worry about it I'm going to come down where it says uh, advanced display settings here click on that now once we get that we want to come up to the top here where it says display desktop display here and uh, if we scroll down here you'll see where it says my digital uh, flat panel or something along them lines and uh, we want to do is put the tick in here for scaling and then you want to pull this across here so you can see the screen size will change okay now you're changing the scaling options for that and you will be able to view that on your TV once you've got this set to exactly where you want it what you need to do is click on apply and that will be that and it's a simple fix now it will be the same thing for an Nvidia card you just need to hunt around and find it okay so anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers, you can head over to the forums and post them on there. Okay, so have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.